Welcome back family. Today is day 27 in our 30 days of what we eat in a day videos. If you have not been with us before, I challenged myself to post one video per day for at least 30 days. And it is actually day 30 because I posted three grocery hauls as well. I cannot believe we are here. Thank you so much for rocking with us. If you have not already, definitely like this video and subscribe. You will still see me after this. I will just be posting weekly. Okay, so we're starting off here with some melon. My husband is cutting up some cantaloupe and watermelon. The watermelon was okay. It could have been a little more ripe. But then I am getting into, I'm going to make some burritos so for lunch so this is a cheese sauce i showed yesterday's video i made potatoes a gratin and i just heated them up reheated the leftovers and my son had them for breakfast after the fruit so i decided huh the oven's already on i'm just gonna this pot is already you know been used so I'm just going to make the beans right in here. It wasn't so much cheese sauce left that I think it would make the beans cheesy, but I don't think it'll bother it. So you can see all the seasonings I'm using here along with a garlic cube and a bay leaf. And then I'm just mixing everything right in this pot. I'm going to cover it with foil and put them in the oven at about 400 degrees. Um, not very long because they're already quick cooked. I just want the flavors to get in there. So I would say about 15, 20 minutes and then they were done. For the burritos next, I'm gonna make some rice. So I just have some long grain rice here. Um, I'm going to toast up the rice in a skillet, my cast iron, with a little bit of olive oil. Once it is toasted, I pour in, I'm using one cup of rice, so I'm going to pour in two cups of water. I am all out of bouillon, so instead I'm going to use a little mushroom seasoning. I'm also putting a little bit of lemon juice in here and um, some onion powder, and then I'm going to cover it and let it simmer until the rice is tender. This takes about 20 minutes. Once the rice is done, I can assemble the burritos. We're using these small tortillas here. They taste good, but they're just so tiny. We're used to those big ones if you've seen in my previous videos when I've made burritos. We always use the really big tortillas, but this is what we have today. So I just shred a little bit of the Daya cheese block on here for my daughter, not for my son. And then, you know, add on the rice and the beans. I kind of feel like Chipotle here because when we used to go there, that's what they would get. They would get just rice and beans. After that, I spent the afternoon out. I decided to go out for a jog. I had not been out for a jog in quite a bit. So I went out, looked at the scenery, took a pause, also got my jog on. And then afterwards, and oh, I was marveling at how busy it was. It seemed like a regular day, you know, like pre-coronavirus. I was amazed. People were out like going to the aquarium and driving and going to restaurants and I was like quite amazed um so I stopped by for a juice I love to have a juice right after a run I just feel like um it really like my body really soaks it up I love it of course water too but I love a green juice afterwards so I got a great big green juice and then I also got a beet juice for later
When I got home, uh, the kids just wanted a little sweet. So I had grabbed these the other day when I saw them in the store. Uh, there's three bars in here. There's four of us, but it's actually perfect because they do have some gluten in them and I am staying away from gluten. So it's perfect. One for my daughter, one for my son, and one for my husband. They absolutely love them. Dinner time is going to be some pizzas. I'm making three. I'm gonna make one uh, with just cheese. That's how my son likes it. One with some sausage and some olives. And then one I'm gonna make for myself, gluten-free, the broccoli and kale crust. Let me know down below, do you guys do different pizzas when you're making them at home or is it kind of like, look, I'm making one pizza and that's what you guys are going to get. I tend to, you know, whatever flavors or not my kids want or my husband want, I tend to make different things. I don't mind if you've been with us before, you've seen that in the videos. Okay, so I'm using these pre-made crusts from Trader Joe's and you can see the big mess I made with the oil. Um, so I'm just going to kind of make them kiss each other here and get some of the oil <laughs> on each other so I can kind of clean up my mess. But I'm just oiling the crust, mostly the outside, so that it can brown up. And then I'm going to add the uh, pre-made marinara sauce on there and a little cheese. Um, and I'm using Kalamata olives, so I want to cut those up really small because you know those are super salty so i'm going to cut those up small and cut up the sausage and put it all together even though i cut these small i think i still wound up putting too much on because my pizza tasted a little salty so I put too much. I went a little olive crazy. And I actually forgot to put these on the darn pizza, these sausages on there. So I had to take the cheese off, then put the sausages on, then put the cheese back on. So my pizza, you'll see in a little bit, it looks a little bit messy, but that is why I had to go backwards. <laughs> This pizza looked and smelled so divine. I wanted to take a big old bite of it. Um, but I have been gluten free and soy free as much as possible for about four months now. I want to say about four months. I'm not sure how long. But it looked amazing. My daughter said it was bomb. My husband wanted to eat the whole thing. So it was a success. Next up, I can get started on mine. Now, I have made the cauliflower one that is just like this broccoli kale one, and I did not follow directions. I like, I think I just threw it on the rack because I bake the pizzas on the rack. I don't bake them on a sheet, so I just put it on a rack. Um, but this time, I read the instructions on the back, and it said put upside down on a sheet pan, so I did that and bake it on both sides because when I did it my way, it really crackled up and it was not so great. So I followed step by step and I feel like this time I liked it better. It came out a lot better. So I will buy this one again and I will buy that cauliflower one again now that I know how to follow <laughs> instructions. Um, so I just layered it up with everything except those sausages, popped it in the oven, it was delicious. So thank you guys again. Thank you so much for watching and rocking with us. This has been an amazing 30 days. Uh, please do like and subscribe if you have not already. I'm still going to be posting videos. You will still hear from me. Uh, it will just be weekly or bi-weekly. I have not um, decided yet, but you're going to see me again. It just won't be every day. But definitely check out the 30 videos I did this past 30 days. Um... And I will see you again soon. All right. Bye.